was a great weekend for us uh, this past weekend. Two really good teams and really close to our Mac race. Obviously, we feel pretty fortunate about our victory Friday night. You know, kind of tough situation there at, at the end with Ryan fouling out with, you know, I think three and a half minutes left or so. And uh, fortunate we're enough, uh, we still did enough to get a win at the end. And uh, again, going on the road this weekend, two really good teams and got to be ready to play. No, nope, don't even think about it. You know, this, uh, the, the schedule is what the schedule is. And, um, you know, everyone I guess go through that in our league. It's uh, a long trip, like a lot of them are in our league. And, uh, you know, we we're fortunate enough to be at home last weekend, but they don't, they don't let you play them all at home. So we'll have to go on road this weekend and we'll have to play well if we want to win. I mean, <laughs> I guess that is better than the Shannon yeah. Carney trip, that's for sure. So, um, you know, it's a shorter trip. So we don't have to pull the kids out of school on Thursday at least. So we only miss one day of class. So, uh, you know, that's kind of nice for being able to go to play in Denver first. Yeah, it seems like all of them are kind of getting that way in the RMAC this year for everybody. Uh, you know, we've had a couple buzzer beaters with, with Adams in the last three years, and they're always great games. And then Fort Lewis has just been a continued rivalry for several years. And uh, no matter what the records are, especially when we play Fort Lewis, it seems like those games always come down to the last minute. And, um, you know, it's just a, a great competition between both schools, a lot of respect on both sides for the athletes and coaching staffs. And, uh, uh, it's too bad someone's you know got to lose every time we play, but you know it really does make it exciting for the kids. Yeah, definitely. I mean Brady does uh, a great job, and he was at you know Metro State for some time several years ago before moving on to Sac State and then Western Oregon, and uh, uh, definitely different styles of play. Uh, he's just doing a great job with them. They got uh, a couple of freshmen, I think two freshmen, the top three scorers, so they're young. Uh, kind of like us in that sense where they just keep getting better and better. I think they won four of the last six. And, uh, yeah, obviously be a little bit different feel, you know, with, with Coach Porter retiring. But, um, you know, they're a really good team with good players and really well coached. So uh, we have to do a good job of preparing this week. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, this weekend you really saw it with Connor, especially late. Connor Nichols late against Fort Lewis with, you know, he hit the game-winning shot, but he also made the defensive play right before then. And then, you know, uh, Brandon Hoffer, you know, logging the minutes he did on Josh Blaylock Friday night and doing a, a good job. And uh, he's just kind of been a workhorse for us, and those kids have gotten better. And I also think now, you know, CJ's starting to play better, feeling more comfortable with how he's playing Tanner Riley and other freshmen um, and getting more minutes as of late and capitalizing on that. So, uh, you know, that's kind of been our rallying cry all year is just knowing that we will get better as long as we keep coming in with the right frame of mind to practice every day. And to those kid, kids' credit, you know, they've really done that. I think, you know, you always feel good about it, you know. Um, but, you know, if, if what you did yesterday looks big to you today, then you haven't accomplished much today. So, unfortunately, that's athletics and you got to move forward pretty quick. So, uh, it's always a quick turnaround, you know, Friday, Saturday night uh, with, a, with the road trip. So, um, again, hopefully we'll just be focused coming into practice this week and then, uh, you know, Hopefully you stay healthy and those type of things coming down the stretch. And, uh, you know, if we can do that, hopefully we'll have an opportunity to keep winning game. Yeah, I think so. And I think that's what's unique about that young group is, you know, you really felt right from the beginning they felt that, that way. There was an immediate buy-in with those kids. You know, there's always going to be a transition from high school to college. But, you know, it's really amazing what you can accomplish if you have that buy-in right away. And, um, you know, again, giving those kids credit where credit's due. Um, you know, we come in with the right attitude right from the start. And you see them just do nothing but get better and better. And also, you know, with Ryan's leadership, you know, carrying those guys along has been, been huge for them as well. And, you know, what a great player to look up to. I mean, it may be a little bit understated because a lot of times it does take a little time for junior college kids to, to, to get comfortable. You know, I remember when Jeff Bays was here, you know, he was conference player of the year when he played here. I think it was back 2005. And, man, we were 10, 12 games in. And, you know, we were, we were, we were talking about we didn't know if Jeff was very good or he just didn't get it, you know. And, and there he was the next year being at conference player of the year. So sometimes there's a transition with those kids too. But... Again, you know, with Amer and Kabir, great attitudes, great kids, um, really put team before self. They want to win, and um, yeah, they've been huge for us as well. Yeah, really, yeah, it does. And, um, and and with that, you know, again, guys come in accepting the way we play. 
uh, really wanted to do what you want. It's just such a coachable group, and you know, all of us coaches find that uh, when you have the, those type of kids and practice every day, it's just fun to be in the gym and, and be in practice every single day. And uh, those kids kind of feed off each other. But you know, those upperclassmen, um, as good as of our as good as our young kids have been, you know, those upperclassmen have just been huge. Yeah, I mean, you got to get you know acclimated again to different schedule. You know, practicing again in the afternoons instead of the morning, but. You know, the one thing about young people, especially 18, 19 years old, they're pretty resilient. You know, I think that stuff might affect us <laughs> coaches more than it affects them. You know, they're pretty bright eyed and bushy tailed and ready to go when you ask them to. So I'm sure they'll come focused and ready to get better every day. And it wasn't last year, it's been the last three years, I believe, you know. And, you know, we haven't played very well when we've been up there the last few years. And, um, you know, so I know our guys are excited to get that, get out there and get another opportunity at it. But uh, again, that's uh, um, you know that's just kind of where we're at in our conference. You know, on the road, it's it's hard enough to win it home this year, much less on the road. So um, you know, we don't read into it too much. Every team's different. Their team's different from last year. Our team's different from last year. But um, you know, they're just really well coached. They're athletic. They shoot the ball well. So you know, we're just going to have to be really disciplined in what we're doing when we play there.